I know I've already uploaded a video about my mega favorite number, but just a day later I realized that I should have picked a different one. Oh well, at the beginning of the last video I said that I was arithmetically polyamorous, so I guess it's okay for me to have another one. And here it is! This beauty has 1905 digits and is among the numbers most people don't know by heart. What's its story? In 2001, a programmer named Phil Carmody was frustrated with the justice system in the US. Specifically, he believed that source code, which he considered to be pure information, could not be intrinsically illegal. To prove his point, he wanted to reduce the law at absurdum. And boy did he achieve that! Here's an excerpt of a C code that circumvents the copy protection on a DVD. The whole code and its distribution was, at least at the time, illegal. I don't know if it still is today, but since DVDs are not really the thing anymore, I should probably be fine displaying parts of it on YouTube. I have no idea what's going on by the way. Six integers are shuffled around and have their bits shifted and suddenly you can copy Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Mr. Carmody looked for ways to publish this code in a context where it could not conceivably be illegal to do so. As a first step, he compressed it using a standard method. The resulting file, like any file, is saved as a number of ones and zeros, which can be interpreted as a large number in binary representation. Your secret mega favorite number might well be the digital representation of your favorite song or game. The decompression algorithm terminates when it encounters two empty bytes, meaning that any bytes appended to this number do not change the result. Multiplying a number by 256 to the power of n adds n empty bytes to the end of the binary representation. Further, adding any number between 0 and 256 to the power of n minus 1 changes only those last bytes, so the computer will still interpret this number the same way, decompressing it to give the same illegal source code. All Mr. Carmody had to do was to find one such number that was interesting enough to be archivable. He decided to look for prime numbers using the elliptic curve primality proving algorithm. The first prime he found was this number, which has two additional bytes appended, which encode the number 2083. However, with only 1401 decimal digits, the number was simply too small to be published on the prime pages. Mr. Carmody estimated that he would need to append at least 156 bytes. In the end, he added 211 bytes, encoding the number 99, and ended up with my mega favorite number. At the time, this was the 10th largest number ever proven to be prime using the elliptic curve primality proving algorithm, which was a very good justification for publishing it on a website. At the same time, this number encoded illegal source code in a rather straightforward fashion. Some time later, Mr. Carmody went even further and found a prime number that was directly executable on a Linux machine. By now, the records have of course been broken and it is not that easy anymore to find this number. I actually only found the smaller one and the relation it has to the larger one, so I had to calculate the latter. I think Mr. Carmody has proven his point very well. Either something is wrong with the way source code is handled in the justice system of the United States, or numbers, these abstract objects, can be illegal. <laughs>